Hello and welcome to the next episode of Ask Dave, a series where you ask questions and I make a fool out of myself in front of a camera. Can you make a tutorial for your hairstyle? Haha, <laughs> yeah, sure, make fun of a 25 year old man who's already balding. That's funny. However, it made me realize how much am I missing out. I just miss experimenting with different hairstyles, but with such a thin hair, it's just futile effort. So today I came up with a new hairstyle that is suited specifically for men with male pattern baldness. Introducing Reverse Mohawk. I'm calling out all balding men, let's unite. Let's make this hairstyle a new hot trend in 2018. I think I'm pretty much in love with you. For the creepy part, how did you manage to film yourself as you were doing it yourself? The light turning on and the camera moving a bit, that is. This, my friend, is what you call the magic of editing. Thanks to it, I can do cool stuff like this as well. Wait, what? What was that? Oh no, not again! It's an earthquake! Why do you look like the calisthenics movement guy? Well, I don't look like the calisthenic movement guy. I can't see any similarities. And I also don't look like a cavadlo. If you don't include this comment in the next Q&A, you owe me $99,999. Alright, but... If I do include it, you owe me this sum of money. I put my Bitcoin wallet address in the description of this video and you've got 48 hours to send me the money. If you don't send me that money, I'm gonna find you and after meeting me, you're not going to be able to walk again. I'm gonna tie your shoelaces together in a knot. Como aguantas esos bigotes en tu labio? No me importa tu pregunta, pero por un momento quiero hablar español para parecer más listo. Igual nadie me comprende. Imagine the man with trimmed beard and some hair. Oh my, how cool does he look? Nice try, mom. I told you, I'm not trimming my beard. Do you need help editing? I'd be glad to help out. Yeah, thanks, but recently half of my videos have required me to shoot myself naked and I'm just not sure if sending out footage of my cock around the internet is the best idea. I'm gonna go with no. Don't waste your time asking this guy a question because he won't reply. Um, I'm sorry man, I, I must have missed your questions. To make it up for you, I searched for and collected all your questions that you asked and I'm gonna answer them here, alright? 80 kilograms and 50 kilograms, yes, 180 centimeters, no, 25. Seek help from a doctor, that shit wasn't funny at all. If an adult man standing naked in a dark sewer in a knee deep water holding a teddy bear is considered sick, then I don't want to be healthy. At least the title isn't clickbait this time. This guy just bitches about something in every of my videos. I'm not saying you cannot do it. But my question is, why do you keep watching my videos if you clearly don't like them? There's so much content on this platform that you really shouldn't waste your time watching something you don't enjoy. Or even better off, just shut down your computer and go live your life. Play with your cat, go outside, go for a walk, smell some flowers for Christ's sake. Why did you choose Malta over Canary Islands? I chose Malta because it's an English-speaking country and I don't speak Spanish that well. This doesn't, however, mean that I'm not gonna try living on Canary Islands. Actually, I plan to do it maybe even this year. Come on, give me some more difficult questions. What is the meaning of life? 
Yeah, that, that, that would be more difficult. Um, there is this cool Polish movie from the year 2000 and in that movie a very similar question is asked. What I'm gonna try to do is translate the answer because I think the guy nailed it. Listen brother, if you don't have a family that you have to provide for, you're not worried about starvation, you're not Tutsi or Huru and so on, you just have to answer one important, very fucking important question. What do I enjoy doing in life? And then just start doing it. Now I'd like to focus on all the comments that are addressing the recent changes that have been going on on this channel. I love this vid, you're expanding your content, that's awesome! Why are you changing the topic of your videos? We miss your old ones! This entire video made my day, I love this new style! I don't like it, I appreciate your calisthenics and food videos, not sarcasm. These new videos that have nothing to do with calisthenics are amazing! As you can see the opinions are divided, and it's totally understandable. I appreciate all of your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, because I think that constructive criticism is one of the most powerful tools we have to improve whatever we do. However, today I'd like to share some details of what was going on on, on the backstage of the channel for the last couple of months and why all these changes are happening. For the last five months I have made only 15 videos and that's what, like one video every 10 days? And that wasn't caused by the fact that I got lazy, but rather because I lost satisfaction of making those videos. On one hand, I was stuck creatively, because I felt like I had said everything I had to say about calisthenics, having done over 100 videos regarding that topic. Creating new videos meant for me that I had to overcomplicate some topic to find anything new to say, or just repeat myself over and over again, making multiple videos on the same piece of information. On the other hand, I was aware that most of you, my audience, subscribed to a channel about calisthenics so this is what you're expecting to see. So I was scared to do anything outside this topic. All this pushed me to a very dark place in my mind where my creativity was limited by the boundaries I had put over myself, I didn't really enjoy the process of creating and I wasn't excited about the fruits of that labor. I know there's a lot of pure calisthenics channels out there that are producing videos every week for years but I just couldn't push myself to make another video about push-ups or how to start training. And I didn't start YouTube to feel like I have to make videos even though I don't enjoy it. So from now on, I'm gonna be going more in the direction of comedy, because this is something I was always passionate about. It was just much more scary thing to do, to expose your ideas and your, your sense of humor for people to evaluate, compared to just showing how to properly do a pull-up. Of course, I'm not saying that I won't make videos revolving around calisthenics anymore. It's still a big part of my life and it's going to stay that way. I just want to be sure to make them only if I actually have something interesting to say. I just hate the idea of creating content for the sake of creating content. And I don't want to waste your time producing videos that, after watching them, make you wonder what was the point of the video I just watched. Anyone? I strongly believe that whatever I'll produce with this approach is going to be way more entertaining and valuable because I'm gonna be excited about doing it and this will show. I already can feel a huge difference in my motivation to give you guys more content because of the way doing videos like this one make me feel. Satisfied, that is. So the bottom line is less calisthenics but more videos, better videos, happier me happier you, hopefully. And that's it for this video. Be sure to leave your opinions in the comments below. Don't be shy. Leave a like and if you're not subscribed, then subscribe and see you in the next one when we are.